up everyone it's your girl jail beauty seven here aka grace and today we're gonna have a cute little swatch party with these about face liners i'm gonna start these about face holographic eye paints now remember i told y'all i was getting them when they came out so they out and here they are i'm actually gonna compare them to the ones from milk to see if they have some similar colors and then i got the traditional ones that i normally use i'm gonna compare them to I'm also gonna swatch this half magic just so we can get it out the way because it's this one I bought that I still haven't used. I think I used like another one I had for them, or maybe I just used the lip products. I honestly don't know. Like lately, I just been so far behind y'all, so I'll be like, what did I use? What did I not use? I don't know. But I'm here, you're here, we're all here, and the stuff is here, so I figured we would just, you know, get swatching it or whatever. So I guess I'll start off. Just swatching these alongside of colors that I know I already have. Then I want to swatch these over like her bases with certain colors since a lot of the shifts in here are similar to the colors in here. I feel like that would be fun. I plan on using them in a video on my actual eyes as well. But I figured this is something simple I can do and give y'all an idea of how they work and how the formula is. And if there's some of the stuff I already have that you might have based upon me doing these videos in the past. So I'm going to start off with the half matching one because it's the only one that I think doesn't have like a dual chrome or multi chrome shift type situation to it. It's just like some purple glitter from what I remember. That's so long since I bought it, child. I don't honestly remember. It's the shade Spirit God. And what's going on with that show anyway? Like I wanted to make a part of the scare and that's why she started her own like makeup brand. So just in case the show doesn't come back, like she still has like other stuff to do. And no, that was not shade. I'm just like curious. Or she was just trying to capitalize on her fame at the time since like the makeup she had done for the show was really popular and people were like feeling it. So she was like, let me start while it's popular. This is the shade Spirit Guide. Um, it's just a purpley glittery type shade. Not doing a whole lot. If you all remember, I told you all that, I told you in some video, I don't remember which video it was, but the girl that um plays sit, uh, the girl that plays Cassie. They were saying that she wants to get paid more money than Zendaya. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. The show is supposed to be centered around Zendaya. Why should you get paid more than Zendaya? Like, that doesn't even make sense. If Zendaya is the star, she should get paid the most. Like, where did you even think that you should get paid more than the person who the show is supposed to be about? Like, I was really confused about that when I heard about it. Because I was like, how can you be so delusional as to think that you should get paid more than the person that the show is supposed to be centered around? Like, I don't... I don't understand. I, I don't. Okay, so I have two shades I feel like are somewhat similar, which is kind of um, weird to me because it's like Inner World and Serendipity. These two, I feel like they're really similar to the shade Festive by Juvia's Place and um, Water from ColourPop and I don't know, like so many to choose from. And then Payload from Lethal. So I'm going to swatch the original shades first and then i'll swatch these two last my battery is flashing so i guess i'll just let it die while i um start swatching these shades out so i'm starting off with payload back of my hand this one i feel like it's dried out so like just looking at it a lot of the liquid is missing so i'm like that's interesting so excuse it if it's patchy it's kind of old i mean like super old then i'm gonna take water from color pop color pop one seemed like more of that see like texture which is a little more emollient if you will then i'll take festive from juvia's place and then we'll actually get into the ones from what do you call her um, so that was more liquidy but i feel like it has more glitters and the reflect is stronger than the one in, um well i mean they look about the same but this one looks like a lighter blue than the blue in the um lethal and um lethal and juvia i mean lethal and color pop i from inner world weird liquid to it so like i guess you have to shake it first before you pull it out because otherwise it'll come out with this emollient liquid to it like the one i just did so now i need to re-swatch it because honey just honey i'm not feeling that liquid a fun fact if you all did not know halsey is half black even though she just looks like a caucasian woman like um she is half black i found it interesting to find that out and i'm like hmm. like she did an interview and some guy was asking like why she had a certain skin color of uh, a certain part of her body part that I don't want to get into and she was like because she was half black and people didn't know it and I'm just like mm-hmm but you know it's not something you just make widely known so I find that interesting so this is payload water from ColourPop festive from um, Juvia's Place inner world from 
about face and then this one is serendipity from about face so all those look like that if anyone was interested as you can see they have different shifts so i feel like the one from juvie's place and festive actually looks similar to serendipity and i feel like inner world looks more similar to water from ColourPop and um halo from lisa cosmetics so that's the first set we're gonna get into on to the second set girl so the next one to me just looks more like scarab from um, Natasha Denona, but I don't have that here with me. I am going to swatch the shade Earth, so to compare it to, even though I don't feel like they're similar enough. But since I'm here, you're here, and it's here. We're all here. I'm just going to move on to this shade. So this one is called Cypress from Lethal. This one it seems to be real watery when it's formal. Like, I don't know if it's like broken up into something, but it's like really watery. And it's like the base isn't um, set together. So as you can see, like, you can see the color, but it's clearly like, you know, patchy or whatever so this one is just gonna be literally for reference so let's watch earth next it's not similar to this by any means just from what i remember but i wanted you all to see since somebody might think earth is similar to this one it is not and then i'm gonna put the shade luna on so they have that really liquidy consistency to them like the one from uh lethal does now that the coloring isn't there yeah i definitely can see this as a good alternative to natasha denona's um scarborough shade but as you can see, this is Earth from ColourPop. It's not the same. Y'all saw this from Cypress from Lethal. And this is Luna from About Fit. So I feel like these look really nice. And I really like the clean formula on these. The only thing is, like, I don't like the fact that it has that, like, consistency with the, um, I guess whatever's holding the pigments together. It's this weird, leaky looking film to it that I'm not necessarily crazy about or like on the um, product itself. But otherwise, you know, it's fine. But the last one I have is intuition it's also looking like the shade e e ethel this is how you say it from um lethal again i'll swatch that one i don't have any from color pop that look similar i will try out the shade fire though just because i'm here you're here we're all here i swatched that out but i feel like fire isn't similar but it could be let's try this one out now shake it real quick Yeah, and it's still getting a watery thing even though I shook it, so I don't know what's going on with that. But this is Cypher from Lethal. This is Fire from ColourPop. And then this is Intuition from About Face. So as you can see, those are looking quite similar. Um, it doesn't look like ultraviolet like I thought it was. And the bottle it does, when you actually put it on, it pulls fuchsia pink and purple. And then does the green and um, blue shift to it. Excuse me. So that's why they don't look exactly the same. So those are all the ones I have to show you as far as that goes. Now I start putting on the bases and putting each one of these on top of it just to see how it looks on the back of my hand on top of a base. So I'm going to start off with the two um, bluish shades because those are the ones I have like the most excitement for. Y'all know I love the blue shadow so I'm going to take Blue Monday, this matte one, and swatch it a couple of times. And then I'm going to swatch those on top of it once it dries swatch all the mattes now and then we'll put the shimmers on top so i'm gonna swatch the green shade right here and the shade vertigo flower and then we'll put luna on top of that luna is the um shade that's similar to scarborough from natasha Denona, if you know if you know and then the pink one we're going to use for the shade illusion which is la zuma rosa i'm gonna let that one dry and then we'll put these on top so since I need a new battery anyway, I'm just going to let these dry on my hand and I will come back and we'll swatch all the ones we talked about on top of the other ones. And then we can go ahead and talk about my thoughts on these as a whole. Oh, wait, I forgot to swatch the ones from Melt. So we'll have to do the ones from Melt last. The ones I have from Melt, Sour Grapes and Clockwork Purple. Clockwork Purple it seems like it's going to be really similar to the shade Intuition. And then Sour Grapes is really similar to the shade um, Inner go. inner world and serendipity those are the two that they are similar to so i'm gonna let those dry go get another battery and i'll come back and swatch all those side by side and then we will be done okay girl okay okay y'all so i did all my swatches this one is serendipity this one is inner work or inner word this one is luna and then this one is intuition the ones i told you i was going to use then i swatched sour grapes right here and this is um inner work with it and then i swatched 
the clockwork shade and this is intuition with it so this is what all them look like i remember i put them on top of all the bases that's why you can probably still see the blue right here i feel like on top of the green ones and the pink ones it looks nicer than it does on top of the blue ones i don't know what it is about the blue ones but it went on streaking on top of the blue ones which i found interesting but this is what both are all the shades look like now so my first impressions on these are i don't like the fact that the liquid comes out of them the way that it does that's my only issue because it's like when you swatch it if you don't know you're supposed to like shake it then you'll end up with a whole bunch of like this random liquid that you didn't want on your hands there and imagine trying to put it on your eyes and then this like fluid that's supposed to mix this together is just all over your eyes instead of the color that you're looking for now it came out streaky because you didn't know you're supposed to shake it now in fairness it probably says that you're supposed to shake it i'm not 100 percent sure i didn't read over like these as you know one does but you know like you should just shake it ahead of time just you know so we're clear so you don't have the issue that i had with that liquid coming out of it because it is and i'm sure you learned something new today because i'm sure you did not know halsey was half black until i just said that but yeah i remember her doing an interview talking about how she was had this intimate moment with this guy and he was asking why a certain part of her body part was this color that a black woman's normally would be and that's when she told him like you know she was half black and that's why so um I didn't want to mention the body part and all that other stuff because, you know, I felt that was an intimate person in the moment. But my, so apparently my camera didn't agree with what I said because it showed cut off right after I made that statement. But, um, yeah, so my first impression on those is just the situation with the liquid and make sure you shake them well. Just like with the, um, the liquid highlighter, make sure you don't turn it any way because it is extremely liquidy. Like, it literally spilled all of my pants when I did that video. You all have seen it before you saw this. So, just keep in mind with these things, you need to make sure you shake them well. Now, I don't think you need to shake them with the colorful ones, but with these holochrome eye things, you definitely do. I was impressed with them so far. I haven't put them on my eyes yet, so it's too early to tell. But I enjoyed doing this swatch party with you on these. I thought it would be fun, a cute little multi-chrome moment, and I was excited to get my hands on these because I do like the stuff I've tried from her brand. Her foundation is really nice. I'm waiting on her to come out with some concealer. The highlighter to me was just okay. Spoiler alert. But yeah, those are all my thoughts on these products I tried today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all in diamonds. Make sure you subscribe. I have my membership down below if you're interested in more luxury and fragrance and like candles and kind of like bougie luxurious lifestyle. I'm putting more of my soft girl life content in there along with um, vlogs. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed girl.